Pacific in 1943, the tide of battle had turned. The American forces, led by the largest navy in history, were preparing to meet the embattled enemy. Millions of men, thousands of ships made ready for this great offensive. And at the island of Taratupa in the heart of the South Pacific, the men of PT Boat 73 under Lieutenant Commander Quinton McHale had more than their share of hazardous missions. Tanker, what are you feeding this thing? Malted milk? Come on, give me some power. Kruber? Yeah. How's it going? Lousy. How's the skipper doing? I don't think he's going to make it. Oh. Christy! You ain't Paul! You ain't sad enough to go rowing in Central Park! <laughs> Don't you? Me, Captain? You, Commander. What did you have against Ensign Fotheringay? Who? Fotheringay, the young man I sent you to be a new executive officer last week. Oh, was he the one with the n -n 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 nervous tick? He didn't have any nervous tick when I sent him over there. <laughs> Hell, how many ensigns do you think this Navy has? Do you realize that in the last two months you've run through four of them? Now, do you think that I'm made of ensigns? <laughs> I just can't understand it, Captain. We went out of our way to make him feel at home. Jesse James might feel at home with you and your mob. Bluebeard might. Jack the Ripper might. But Ensign's are simple. The childlike. The 100% American boys. Yes, sir. Now, Michael, I'm going to fix you. I'm going to bring you and your mob back into the Navy. Do you understand that? Captain, I'm always willing to cooperate. Yes, sir. Granted, my boy's a little high-spirited. High-spirited. <laughs> That's what they said about Mrs. O'Leary's cow before it kicked over the lamp. Knock <laughs> that out. Yes. I don't know what I told you and get out of here. Yes. Oh, uh, Captain, uh, I thought maybe I'd drop by sick bay and uh, say goodbye to Ensign. What's his name? Oh, uh, no, you don't, Miguel. You leave that boy alone. Every time he hears your name, he starts to laugh hysterically. <laughs> now get out of here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Bye-bye, uh, Captain. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> That a uh, fly speck on your duty belt, Marine? I couldn't say, sir. Don't you know how to polish your helmet? Hey! Yes, sir. That uh, young ensign out there, is that a replacement for what's his name? I mean, the fathering game? Yes, sir. Ensign Charles Park, the transferred from Grand Isle Canal. Marvelous. I want to see him right away with his service record. Yes, sir. And Charles Parker reporting aboard, sir. Well, that's good. That's very good. At ease, mister. I, uh, I must say I like the way you climbed on that Marine out there. You're one of the arrogant ones, aren't you? That's good. Good, because so am I. Nasty but firm down there where it counts, huh? Yes, mister. I like the cut of your jib. Oh, well, uh, thank you, sir. There was this uh, little tailor down in San Diego who... What? Uh, my jib, sir. Forget your jib. I've got a job for you. I've got a job that will require a disciplinary tiger, a tyrant. Are you a tyrant, mister? Well, they, uh, they say I have a savage temper, sir. Good. Because <laughs> you're going to need it. Now, here's our position, mister. There's Japs up here. There's Japs over there. There's Japs over there. The Japs down here. Forget them. Because here, 
Here is the Navy's real enemy. Here is McHale. Huh? Ah, strikes a chord, doesn't it? Uh, well, I, I think I've heard the name, sir, yes, sir. That man is an absolute renegade. He used to be the captain of a tramp steamer down here before the war. He knew every hideout, every remittance man, every saloon keeper in these islands. So what is Admiral Reynolds going to do? He commissions him. Why, the man is a disgrace. Admiral Reynolds, sir? Don't tell us now. McHale. You know what that reprobate was using his boat for last week? Water scheme. Must have burned up $300 worth of Navy fuel. Well, uh, why do you put up with it, sir? Well, it just so happens that last week he sank a $3 million Jap destroyer. That's no excuse. No excuse. The man is an undisciplined monster. And his crew. Oh, his crew are a bunch of pirates. Why, I've seen hardened Marines turn pale at the sight of McHale's men. Well, it's a... Uh... <laughs> well, it's a good thing they're on our side then, isn't it, sir? Who says they're on our side and don't lean on my desk? <laughs> That's your job, Parker. That's your job. Mr. Parker, service record, sir. Thank you. Yes, Parker, it's going to be a tough job and a dirty one. It's going to be like facing a pride of lions with only a commanding stare for a weapon, but I know that you, uh... You rammed a destroyer escort into the docks at San Diego while you were still tied up? <laughs> well, now, sir, that wasn't entirely my fault. Uh, there was this big wave that came at our ship. We... You did what to the heavy cruiser Minneapolis? <laughs> oh, well, now, I'd like to explain that one, sir. It was kind of a foggy night, and uh, our winter... You called wife... in a naval airstrike on a Marine Corps gasoline dump. Uh, they, they have that in there? <laughs> well, now, on that one, sir, when we sighted in, there was this palm tree in our way, and You're we not a naval out. officer, you're a naval disaster. Why, well, your whole record here reads like an encyclopedia of lost battles. Oh, well, sir, now, I had very high marks in naval officer's etiquette. No. <laughs> well, Never let it be said that Square Rig Binghamton didn't give even a bumbling idiot another chance. You will have one week to bring McHale and his bunch in the line. One week from today, I will inspect McHale, and if I am displeased, you will receive a transfer to Upper Wolf's Ear, Montana, and a fitness report that will keep you an ensign until the Navy changes back to sail. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Uh, what section of the base will I find him in, sir? McHale on the base? I wouldn't have him contaminate my installation. You'll find him across the bay. One week, mister, remember that. Uh, yes, sir. Uh... <laughs> I don't get it, Groob. Who ever heard of a red crap table? Isn't it supposed to be green? Makes it too hard to find the money. <laughs> Lost, baby, we're being raided. <laughs> All right, men. I'm Ensign Parker. And <laughs> All right, men. Uh, I'm Ensign Parker. I'm the new executive officer here. All right, you guys. Who flung this ensign in the water? Well, you see, I actually sort of... Uh, you keep flinging ensigns in the water, you'll clog up my intake valve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'm warning you, I have a savage temper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold it. Hold, hold it. it. Hold, hold it. it. Okay. Honey, I'm Quint McHale. You're, uh, you're Commander McHale? Just call me Mac. 
<laughs> Mac. It's a Charles Parker reporting aboard, sir. Boy, you sure had a doozy of a time making it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sailor, what's your name? Huh? Oh, 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 Mr. Parker. Oh, Mr. Parker. Mr. Parker. Come here, uh, Mr. Parker. Why don't you uh, change into some dry duds before you explode? <laughs> You're liable to start steaming if you don't. Commander, I'm perfectly aware that you're the commanding officer here. Nevertheless, I'm also a naval officer, and I am second in command here. And it is my duty as a naval officer to see that the men under me look and act like sailors of the United States Navy. Oh. Well, let me know how you make out, mister. <laughs> Let's go, roll call, let's get out of the sack. Come on, good brisk workout. Here we go, man. Roll call, let's go. Here we go. Christy, Moss, Gruber. All right, man. Now I'm warning you. I'm gonna count three and then I'm coming in there to get you. One. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Blue place is going. Parker, what's all this racket? Uh, well, sir, it, it's the men. I tried to get them up and, uh, they fired on me. Well, I don't blame them. It's only six o'clock. Well, uh, uh, Commander, uh, 0600 in the Navy happens to be Reveille. To be perfectly frank, Commander, I'm kind of shocked. The discipline around this place is ridiculous. Look, Buster, as long as my men do a job when they're on a mission, whatever they do in their free time is okay by me. And that includes shooting ensigns. <laughs> Now, I'm going to go back to sleep. And if I hear one peep out of you before 10 o'clock brunch, I'm going to take a shot at you myself. <laughs> and I won't miss. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Ah, naval officer, splendid. You come from fleet? Yes, we, uh... <laughs> Who? Don't move. We've got you covered. <laughs> I guess we forgot to tell him about Fuji, fellas. Yeah, always some eight ball who never gets the word. You're talking to him, sir? He's Japanese. He's the enemy, sir. <laughs> He's not the enemy. Look, it's all very simple. Fuji went over the hill. We found him back in the jungle, so we gave him a home. A home? He belongs at a PW camp. Oh, no, you don't. A great crook like Fuji, he's ours, and find his keepers. <laughs> and don't you dare tell Binghamton we got him here, either. Uh-huh. All right, fellas, you can all go back to sleep now. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> uh, Parker. You about ready to come off it yet? Commander, I have my duty to do. Wise up, son. You're not in Binghamton's Navy anymore. You're among friends. Captain Binghamton happens to be a splendid efficient, experienced officer. Captain Binghamton happens to be the ex-editor of Atlantic Yachting Magazine. He ran a yacht club on Long Island Sound and... Ah, why bother? Look. Just let me warn you, son. These waters are full of reefs. And it's not safe to carry too full a head of steam. Gee, I love that kind of talk. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Parker. <laughs> All right, let's police up this area. I want this place for the chip shake. Oh, it's right, rugged out there. Well, you know what there. they say about war. Right. Did you finish your reconnaissance patrol? Got it all right here. Okay, report. One case of scotch for Binghamton coming in by PBY from Melbourne tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> Three more nurses due to report to the hospital Friday. Well. <laughs> and uh, save the juiciest tidbit for last. It's going to be an inspection Saturday. What inspection? The one that's going to hang Chicken Parker. All right, all right. Come on, give out. Well, I got a direct from the underground. Binghamton gave Parker until Saturday to put a leash on us, or he gets the worst transfer in naval history, exceeded in unpleasantness only by his fitness report. Well, how about that? Parker never said one word about it. What's to say? Come Saturday, he's dead. Who can wait? <laughs> that boy could have come crawling to me for help, but he didn't. 
On my soul, I think we got one of them strong, silent types among us. <laughs> well, he'll be sad on the right when they hold him off in his regulation coffin. Hey, see here. Got a game start. Huh? All right, Grubber, what's all this? Grubber, what's all this? We're breaking a new crash layout I just painted. Nifty, ain't it? Well, I'm painted. This ain't no casino, it's a PT boat. Well, gee, Skipper, don't get mad. I'll give you the first roll. Take it out. That's an order. Right. And you, Willie, I want you to get rid of that still. Oh, Virgil, still. no more of those native cuties on board. From now on, boys, we're going by the book. Strictly regulation. What for? Oh, Holy oh, smoke, it's over just like Parker. Skip, you put it out of bearing. Oh. I'll cut it out, you crumbs. I'm not bucket of a full commander. We're just going to help a kid who I think has plenty of moxie. Moxie? Parker? He's a magic. Look. If we goof it up on Saturday, Binghamton's going to railroad him. Now, did he come looking to us for help? No. I think he deserves it, don't you? Besides, if we can throw Binghamton a curve. Aha. Uh -huh. hey, 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 hey. Only one more thing. Fuji, you got to go, boy. Skipper. Oh, no, uh, Commander, please. Please not send this boy to camp. <laughs> not, Fuji. But you got to hightail it back into the hills, boy. If Binghamton finds you here, he'll not only send you to the PW camp, he'll send us. You can't do that, Skipper. He's afraid there might be Japs back there. <laughs> also scared of hand clubs and readers. Ah, oh, no, Fuji. Rizzits, uh, lizards can't hurt you. Besides, it won't be long. You'll be able to come back on Saturday. Okay? Okay, boy. <laughs> All right, you guys. From now on, this is a military outfit. I want Parker says jump. I want to see plenty of heels and elbows. You get it? For one week, we're going to join the Navy. Now, turn two, huh? Uh, men, I'd like to begin our little weapons class with a review of the nomenclature. <clears throat> this is the 50 caliber machine gun. The important thing to remember, <laughs> gentlemen, is that this machine gun will fire over... Uh, Oh, right here. <clears throat> Fire over 306,762 bullets per minute. Now, man, that's a lot of bullets. <laughs> that is a lot of bullets. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, correction there, that, that's the patent number. <laughs> well, the important thing to remember is that it does fire a lot of bullets. I, I suppose a lot of you will want to take notes. <laughs> now, let's take a look at another part over here. This is the bolt handle. Now, when we cock it back, like this, our ammunition is loaded. Then we push... <laughs> uh, suppose we dismiss the class for a while. What are you trying to pull? Uh, well, sir, <laughs> I'm not admitting my men are sloppy, but I must admit Ensign Park has a certain way of getting things done, sir. You can tell me, Mikhail, that he is a gun. <laughs> Captain Binghamton, my men happen to be members of the United States Navy. Well, if that's true, it's the best news the Japanese Navy ever had. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Well, uh, Commander, I must say, I never expected to see your boat and your crew looking like this. The rest of your installation is just half as ship shape as this. Well, we'll, we'll see. <clears throat> At ease, men. At ease, men! Be quiet. Yes, <laughs> You've done an amazing job here, a remarkable job, if I may say so. Okay, I want to see the rest of your installation. Where's your uh, supply hut? Well, it's right over, uh... <laughs> Let's 
funny. I was over there just a little while ago, sir. <laughs> Uh, what's the matter with you? The building right there says supply hat on it. Oh? <laughs> and Al, what's in that shack? So what shack is that, sir? Supply hat. Uh-huh. That's where the body's buried, huh? Uh, we had a case of color in there last week, Captain. We're fixing to burn it. <laughs> Commander, I don't understand. Our supplies are in wonderful shape. Oh, yeah, Jim Dandy. You know who's in there? Fuji. What is that? <laughs> oh, well, uh, uh, hey. <laughs> Mikhail, who the devil is he? Why, well, this is, uh, 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 Chief, uh, Lilo Lani. <laughs> Nani. Mani. <laughs> is that right, mister? Uh, yes, yes, that's right. Uh, old uh, uh, Chief Lena Lana Lani 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 Mani. Uh, I call him Shorty for short. <laughs> ah, so. Hello, Captain Sam. What do you say? That sounded Japanese to me. Why, this man is a Jap. Who, who, him? A Japanese? <laughs> well, that's a riot. Hey, well, I don't know what you're trying to pull, but this man is a Jap. Oh? Well, compared to him, Tojo looks like a Swede. Cut it out. Chief here is a native of uh, uh, Taratupe, and, uh, well, he's our scout. Isn't that right, little Lunny? Oh, sure. Simple uh, child of nature. Yes, you see, we were, we were training him to be a spy, you know, passing him off as a nip. But uh, we weren't sure we were successful. But if he fooled you, Captain, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> How come he looks so Japanese? <laughs> oh, pardon me, Commander. I hate to interrupt the inspection, but it is 10 o'clock. Time for the men's gunnery class. Gunnery? Yes, sir. Gunnery. <laughs> Mikhail, I don't understand this. You and your men have been in combat. Of course, sir. Uh, but it was awful. Uh, we were shooting without knowing what we were shooting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little unusual during an inspection, but gunnery... Well, you see, sir, the, the men have learned so much from Mr. Parker that... Well, they, they just can't seem to get enough, sir. Really? Well, this I've got to see, by all means. Oh, let's, let's have the class. Fine. fine. <laughs> oh, uh, as you were, Chief. <laughs> Parker, you've done a remarkable job here. Aside from that little accident with the machine gun bolt, everything went perfect. Oh, well, thank you, sir. <laughs> Forget about that little transfer that I mentioned to you. From now on, you're McHale's executive officer. That may or may not be a reward. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, bye, Captain. <laughs> Sayonara. <laughs> Sayonara! Sayonara! <laughs> Thank you, Fuji. <laughs> hey, Chuck, how are you? Come on in, have a drink. Oh, well, uh, I don't want to interrupt anything, sir, but uh, <clears throat> it uh, it is four minutes to ten. By golly, that's right. Very good. Oh, uh, no, what I mean, sir, is that uh, at 10 o'clock we have lights out. That means we got uh, four minutes to live. <laughs> Come on in, Chuck. You're among friends, oh, really. No, really. Come I on, could... this is good stuff, Mr. Parker. It's been aging all afternoon. No, no, really. I don't, no, I don't know why not. Uh, well, you see, sir, I, uh, I already brushed my teeth. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Mr. Parker. Welcome aboard. Yeah! 